Hey, Matt. Friends. Hello, friends. John. Hey. Are we got a full squad? There should be more coming. There probably there's... will be more from our end, yeah. Um, I believe there is, let's see what uh, eight. Mike sent. I think 18, yeah. It's a reunion. Is this, uh, do you guys uh, do, uh, I'm Nick, by the way, from, from, from Recart. <laughs> so I'll be, I'll be spearheading this. You know, I'll, I'll make a more formal introduction once everyone comes. But um, me, and, uh, me and Brian have been talking for a little bit already. Um, uh, do you guys, do you, do you guys do lunch learn often? How's uh? Do you guys like reunite? I guess often or yeah. Uh, yeah happy hour. Definitely an initiative we've been uh, pushing a lot more this quarter. Nice, nice. Yeah, I need. Uh, it's it sucks working for a European based company because I feel like uh, I feel so isolated sometimes from like just company activity. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, like. <laughs> They're all like drunk right now. It's a it's a Hungarian <laughs> holiday. Um, it's the Hungarian Revolution of nineteen fifty six, I think. Yeah. Anyways, it's like this funny thing because like everybody else, uh, re Ricard is for uh, background. Uh, fifty one employees, forty eight Hungarian, three uh, two in New Jersey actually, and one one in New York. That's me. Um, but uh, it's 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 interesting. Um, all their holidays are on Fridays. Hmm. Like you know, we take Mondays off. Um, all of them are on Fridays. And yeah, I uh, we take the people in the U.S. take the U.S. holidays, uh, and then they take the Hungarian ones. It's not like we're on a Hungarian holiday schedule. Um, <laughs> it's interesting, but uh, yeah. But a perk though, I. Flew out there for training right before Corona struck, which is cool. Got to oh, see that. That's pretty cool. It's got to be a fun trip. Yeah, it's really it's a beautiful country. Uh, if you guys have never been, um, it's uh, absolutely gorgeous. Hey, hey, Mike, how's how's it going? Good. How are you, man? I see you got already started. It's like, I, when I have like you know my regular meetings, no one is early. <laughs> you know, all of a sudden it's like a bunch of our like you know I'm in twelve oh one. There's ten people here already, uh, but cool. That's a good thing. Uh, just some administrative stuff, Nick. I I sent you a list of emails. I actually, see um, at least Sylvester didn't say yes before, but I see he's in it. Uh, wow. Did you send the gift cards? Can I give an extra you an extra email? How's that work? Yeah, so I was going to plan to send them after the call. Uh, I can if, if that's if that's fine. Uh, I mean, it's you know, you guys can use it for um, dinner or lunch tomorrow. I don't know, but <laughs> you you have yeah. it after the call, so um, that's perfect. All right, so, so yeah. also wait for my email. If other people trickle in, I'll, I'll give you an updated list of people. Um, okay, um, yeah, I'll do an intro can. and then I'll let you do your thing. I'm also going to record this, guys. So. Uh, yeah, no this more. is also it's also yeah. getting recorded on uh, on my end too, right. so I, if, uh, I, I can send that to you as well. I see. Um, I'll record here as well, but but I think the gong recording might be. be no, uh, can I record this? No, I can't because you started it. Okay, you'll have to you'll have to send I'll, it to me. I'll, I'll send you the gong recording. It's it's really good. Perfect. Um, okay, cool. So uh, yeah, just a quick intro, and and I'm really excited about this one, guys. Uh, the last couple we did, it was um, you know I I, I like them, but um, you know, what gets me excited about is like kind of like direct return, you know, kind of like showing the client like that value in terms of dollars, not in terms of like time saved or, you know, your customer service reps would be, you know, a little bit happier or whatever. Uh, Recard is all about that. Um, and, and specifically, you know, and I'm excited to see a lot of people from the PPC team here. Um, I think it's the best with pay-per-click because really there's where you're showing the return and a lot of the, types of uh, stores that Recard will help the most are exactly the ones that uh, we struggle with. You know, it's kind of like that jewelry, that fashion, you know, but very similar to, uh, you know, Tapcard's audience. But again, with Tapcard, it's, you know, you get that mobile app and then you get push notifications. You know, there's a little bit of a, a you know, distance between, the, you know, the, the return and the initial product. With Recard, it is as close as you could get and you can't get any closer than, if they don't get ten thousand dollars extra in sales, they they literally don't pay anything extra. And, and if they do, it's like three cents per dollar 
is that extra thing that the cost from that work and you know that's like the price of like payment processing right not marketing so um it's pretty uh, crazy um they are the number one paid shopify app so uh you know a lot of whatever to just uh, our shopify clients they've been through the shopify kind of like experience and flow so they've seen recart if not just like a little logo somewhere so it's pretty cool they, they already have that kind of brand recognition so Sometimes they need just that extra nudge to actually push them to record because they've already probably seen them at least once. Um, and uh, it's Shopify mostly. They're also WooCommerce, um, and, and we have a bunch of WooCommerce as well. So you know we might be a majority of their WooCommerce just because they are mostly all Shopify, uh, but uh, both work. Uh, and yeah, again, I, I'm I'm really excited for uh, for what Nick is about to present to you guys um so yeah nick take it away yeah thank you thank you so much mike that was an, an amazing intro uh um i i really appreciate it really really kind words happy friday everybody honored to be here um but i've, I've been speaking to mike and, and brian a bit and just just from those conversations uh you guys are a really awesome organization so i'm really um really looking forward to showing you guys a little bit more about about recart and uh, and messenger marketing so I will make this, you know, demo oriented, of course, but I also want this to be slightly educational um, because I do feel like Messenger in itself, you know, if I explain to you SMS marketing or email marketing, you kind of immediately know. Um, but Messenger, I feel like, is pretty inherently unknown or um, uh, or at least misunderstood. So I'm gonna also make it a little educational as well. So uh, bear with me for any of those. Um, uh, conversations and topics, but yeah, I'm going to dive right in here. One second, and feel free to interrupt me, um, pause me, treat me, treat me like your favorite Netflix show. It's I know it's a cheesy line, but to get that off my chest. Um, so, at the end of the day, uh, so I, I kind of like showing like the end result first. Um, at the end of the day, this is what I want to enable your brands to do. So this is the, uh, the pinnacle of Recart, sending 90% open rate messages in a very socially relevant area for me that is Facebook Messenger. Uh, you know, I have my, my family here, uh, and then I also have brands. Um, so these messages that are getting sent to me, it's, it, it's an own channel. Um, it's not like the 197K people that like your superfoods are automatically able to be messaged like this. Um, we, have to, we have to earn this. Uh, and when we earn it, it's very powerful. Um, to get it, we need just some interaction from the consumer to the brand. So me tapping show my code here, and, and I'll show you in a second how, how we got this message in the first place, but um, me tapping show my code here is an example, right here is an example of how a messenger sub works. So, you know, email, you're typing it in a field, SMS, same thing, you're pressing subscribe, press subscribe. This is how a messenger sub happens, uh, some interaction. So throughout this, we're gonna be trying to get interactions because that can help us kind of start this engine up. Um, and this, at the end of the day, is also what we're going for. Some cool things about sponsored messages, they are paid for, uh, so it, uh, I mean, <laughs> probably that's not a cool thing, I guess, but, um, you know, just like SMS communication, uh, it's it, it's it, it's uh, there's a slight charge to it. So it's a penny and a half. It's very cheap. Um, but the average return on ad spend that we see across all of our merchants using sponsored messages, and this is a real statistic, is eight to sixty x. Um, vast majority of the reason why it's so high is because a the cost is really cheap, b the open rates are so high, and c people are like, whoa, what is this? Like, I just got a Facebook message. I mean. People are getting texts all the time uh, these days, and it's also a one-way street. Um, I subscribed to Fashion Nova, for example, the uh, the other week, and they sent me, they're the number one Shopify store. They send me eight messages in a row. I had to reply, stop. That's not really much of a conversation. This kind of opens up a room, uh, room for conversation, interactions. Um, you can see everything, track it almost as if it's a consumer. Um, pretty, pretty powerful. Um, so I'm gonna dive right into to a couple examples of, uh, of opt-ins, and then I'll, I'll explain a, a little bit more around some of these things. But this is, in my opinion, the, uh, and I, I've told uh, Mike and Brian this, so they're probably, uh, um, they're like, Nick, saying this again, but I, I'm very, I'm very 
um, proud about this pop-up. I think it's the best pop-up in the market right now. Um, and I also just think it, it's actually beating out all of our Klaviyo pop-ups that clients have used before, Trust Uno and Privy uh, pop-ups as well, uh, and Attentive. So let me show you why. Um, so we're gonna press play here, and this is in real time. Uh, you're scrolling, you're scrolling, unlock 10% off your order, get 10% off now. Uh, discount will be unlocked in Facebook Messenger app. Something like this is what brings you know this conversation earlier to light. So, uh, and I'll show exactly how this conversation happened, also show you in the back end, this is one of my favorite conversations, um, examples, but um, I really wanted to dive right into this pop-up. So, get 10% off now, send the discount to Messenger, uh, discount will be locked in the Facebook Messenger app. So that's gonna send you automatically to Messenger. Get started, you know, it's just appeared there. That's my opt-in. Um, now, Maywoven can send me messages like your superfoods, Blendjet, Rideaware, pajamas, uh, these, these people on the side. Um, uh, welcome your moments away from unlocking your 10% off code. Please enter, confirm your email address. Notice this email address that I made in middle school, uh, which is very annoying to type out on mobile for, you know, I'm, I'm a consumer as well, so it's very annoying to type out um, at, at when I'm trying to get discount codes. But please enter or confirm your email address. It pops up automatically. Recard is able to pull Facebook values from your account, and everybody has one phone number and one email at least associated with your Facebook account because Facebook did two-factor authentication a couple years ago. Recard's able to pull that. It automatically pops up. You have to tap it. Of course, if I wanted to do nick at recart.com, I would just have to type that out. Um, but 99% of the time, we see that these emails and phone numbers associated with your Facebook account are actually the ones that you're going to give out as a consumer. So please enter or confirm your email address. I just have to tap that. That tap automatically gets sent, and you give them the discount code, maywoven10, redirect them. Uh, so the whole process was four taps. I'll go through it one more time as, uh, as I explain how that, uh, that tap worked with, um, uh, uh, with, with email. So email, the moment that's tapped, that is getting sent to Klaviyo, Drip. Um, if it's a phone number, it's getting sent to PostScript, SMS bump, and we're finishing up our attentive integration. Uh, and it's getting sent with smart values. So it's easier to get the email, and the email that you're getting is better. Um, you get the first name, last name, gender, location, time zone, and the email. Um, it's amazing. Uh, if you could have less friction to get more value, um, it's, it's, it's pretty powerful. Plus, you're also getting that messenger sub. Let's not forget about that. Um, so I'm really power, uh, uh, prideful about this pop-up. We're not a pop-up company by any means, um, but this is making us like consider some of the anglings and uh, restructuring of our, of our company because it's performing on average 18% engagement. I know most pop-ups are around like 10%. So anyways, there's a done with the pop-up spiel. Um, let me show you another cool piece of engagement. This is a clicked messenger ad. Um, basically, one of our clients was having an issue with uh, education. Uh, Recart is fantastic for, I know I showed you more of like a sales side, quick to the trigger, get opt-ins, give discount, in and out, least amount of friction. This is kind of like a little bit of the opposite, and it's just to show you the uh, versatility of the product uh, because it is again a an open conversation. Think about uh, sorry about these slag messages. Uh, think about the open conversations and dialogues you're having uh, with with these companies. Um, so this ad turns into a click to messenger campaign. Uh, it's called Pajamas. It's a pretty pretty amazing name because guess what? They're pajamas you can pee in. Uh, brilliant, honestly. I like couldn't believe when I first heard the name, um, but it's targets mostly mothers who are trying to find bedwetting solutions for their children. Um, unfortunately, a lot of mothers assume that this replaces diapers completely. They only buy a couple pairs, and then they're done, and they buy diapers again. But it supplements diapers, doesn't actually replace them, and even then, you know, there's GMOs, there's big babies up there. It's only if they have like a certain amount of, I guess, uh, pee. I, I really don't understand why I do this example still. Um, talking so much about pee, but anyways, uh, let us let, let let me show you the example. Exactly how much pee will pajamas really hold? I, I have no idea. Um, so an Instagram ad turns into this conversation, and this is in real time. Check out why this 30-second video uh, is the best wedding, uh, why pajamas is the best wedding backup available. Watch video now, that's my messenger opt-in. You can actually see that they messaged me since I did that. Um, how much do you think your child pees overnight? 
one to four ounces. You know, I have no idea. I don't even know what this looks like conceptually. You know, if you threw it at me and said how many ounces this is, I couldn't tell you. Um, so I'm able to qualify myself based off this video. If I press 10 plus, it would disqualify me saying this product isn't for you. Do you want to share it? Since I qualified myself though, based off the information in that video, pajamas is in selling mode. Uh, let's show you how it fits. Let's show you that we're environmentally friendly. Uh, and we save you $73. Uh, and then we'll give you that discount code and redirect you. So we're able to qualify, educate, and of course, cash, capture that sub as well, all within an Instagram ad. Most Instagram ads run right here. You click it and then it pops you right here to the store. Um, that kind of just shows you there's a lot of things we can pack in there. If if you, uh, not to the cliche, but if you could dream it, we could, we could literally do it. Um, uh, I, hate, I hate that I said that, but uh, it's it, it's true. Um, any ideas you have, and I think we're just scraping the surface here uh, with use cases and examples and quizzes and functionalities and, and, and different things, um, we can do it. Uh, of course, we will just need assets from your clients, um, and, and this is kind of plays off what Michael was, was saying earlier in the intro, um, uh, but it, if you have client uh, assets, and things that you want us to do, we will build these flows. This was an entire flow that we built for our client before they even put in their credit card. Um, so this is just to show you some of the level of, of service that we can do. Um, uh, but of course, it's always in mind with your client's brand, that's important. And we also really wanna impress you. So let me show you a little bit more. Um, kinda wanted to show like the main, so, the main things about Recard are, of course, the opt-ins, and my favorite ones are the click to message campaigns, which I just showed you, and then also the pop-up, and that funnels into those sponsored messages that we can send. So I like to get those out of the way first, because those are, by far and large, the best parts about Recard. But let me get a little more conceptual uh, with, with everybody here. Um, just to kind of put it into context, if you look at the other owned channels, uh, email is a fantastic, uh, fantastic own channel. It's the, it's the crux of everything. We want to feed into that. Um, and I hate, I hate bashing SMS. We don't like bashing SMS. In fact, we marketed initially not bashing SMS. We wanted to clients to use SMS and messenger successfully. Um, and it is possible, but unfortunately a lot of client sentiment, at least that we've seen is okay, we're doing really well on email, what's next? Okay, it's either SMS or Messenger. We're always trying to put SMS and Messenger, but unfortunately, um, a lot of clients don't see it that way. So um, we are kind of started this campaign, uh, not necessarily against SMS, but just to kind of like show the differences uh, between it and why, if you are looking for a secondary channel, uh, a secondary owned channel, you should choose Messenger uh, over SMS. Um, first of all, the engagement, although they are the same, uh, the main difference is the experience. As I said, uh, a four-digit, five-digit code texting you, um, and then the only way I can interact with a stop isn't necessarily the best experience when I can kind of have these flows that transcend pretty nicely. Uh, you can even see that. I, I, lo I love showing this example. Um, I, I opted in earlier, but you know, this isn't a sponsored message. This is Devin from the BlendJet team uh, in customer service messaging me, seeing if I need anything. I thought that was really nice. Uh, I didn't respond to him. I probably should have, but uh, I, th I just thought that was a really nice touch. Um, that just kind of shows you like how this is, it's a conversation with each customer, not a one-way marketing uh, funnel. Um, so there's, and, and, and this is actually good, good timing to put this one up. Um, this also shows the difference in cost between email, SMS, uh, uh, sorry, SMS and Messenger. Um, but this also just shows like the open rate differences. Of course, email is just inherently like that, but uh, this is more of just like the SMS Messenger comparison. You can kind of see the, um, the, the value here just from the cost uh, perspective. Um, a couple weeks ago, I actually signed up as a consumer. Uh, for an SMS company, I, I live in a, in a high rise in New York City. I have one bar, but I have great Wi Fi. Um, I put in my phone number. I waited. It says I got a message saying, hey, you're opted in, but I didn't get the discount code. Well, that discount code turns out it got sent two minutes later because it got sent with a GIF. And GIF over, you know, not iMessage, if you only have like one or two bars, could be a little slow to deliver. But by that time, I had already unsubscribed and went to a competitor's website. If that was 
Messenger, I would have opted in. I would have already gotten the discount and I would have uh, made a purchase there. Um, so there's a little, little bit about that. Uh, a little bit about us. Uh, and I, and um, thank you again, Michael, for introing us a little bit here. But yeah, we are the number one paid for Shopify app. Um, top five most reviewed app of all time. We've been around for five years. And I need to update this a bit. We have 151,000 installs, uh, which puts us in the top 10 installs of all time. Um, funny enough, our CEO kind of started Facebook Messenger. So you're in very good hands um, uh, in terms of like general company direction. Uh, he, at the age of 22, flew over to Facebook, begged for a meeting, got a meeting, and then showed him a showed them a bunch of use cases, uh, you know, in front of all these executives. They approved it. They started to trial it. He green lighted it, and that's why you know we've been around for so long. It's, uh, I guarantee you, a lot of people did not know Messenger back then. That's because he he basically pioneered it. So, um, really smart guy. We plan to be out here for a, a long time, uh, and we want to grow with awesome uh, agencies. Uh, like like yourself, and I'll get a little bit more into the um, into the, uh, the, the the agency offer in in a moment. But some of the integrations that we have, I'm sure many of you are familiar with these, and we're constantly adding more and more. Um, and even we've done integrations for agency specific needs. If uh, Drip, um, it, we just did that integration. That's purely because an agency had all of his clients on Drip, and he said, "Hey, we need this. We'll, we'll do it." Uh, we have 30 developers full time. This is a very tech heavy product. So we constantly need to be on top of Shopify, uh, all of our merchants. There's a lot of people that we're servicing. And of course, Facebook, <laughs> which is, uh, that's a whole different beast. Um, uh, but we are good partners at Facebook. So we are constantly getting the news um, and updates um, that they are providing. Um, one of the cool things there actually is, and this is why I'm sure you guys will get much more inbound uh, leads about this in the in the very near future, but um, Instagram, uh, and I'm sure you've noticed this if you have have an IG, but your DM has now transformed. It's can't really slide into DMs anymore, right? Uh, it's now transformed into this Messenger icon. You know, this is the same icon as Messenger. Uh, this basically means that Facebook Messenger is no longer going to be Facebook Messenger. It's going to be Messenger by Facebook, and that includes their suite of Facebook communication tools, which is Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp. Uh, the first step is Instagram. WhatsApp will be next year, uh, about a year from now. Um, Instagram, they're on track. The consumer version already started to release. Um, they're going to start doing a little bit more tests, but then the Q1 for marketing uh, API is going to open up in, uh, in, in Q1, uh, and we'll be able to start doing all these flows and things that I have shown you and I'm going to show you uh, within Instagram. So it is a um, it, it's it's going to get bigger. Um, in lieu of that, we're also in the middle of a round, and we are uh, trying to double our staff size in the next four months. So uh, uh, good hands. You, you guys are definitely in good hands. Um, uh, so there's there's a little bit about that. Um, let me show you the back end. I think this will really help. So this is our our editor. Um, how all recart flows work is. The sandbox you build and then connect it to something. Um, so this is what the sandbox is. This connects to their Wheelio welcome flow for desktop only. Um, so the flow I showed you guys earlier were mobile-based flows. I'd like to focus on those because that's where most of uh, traffic is nowadays. But um, this is definitely a, a, a pretty powerful, or I guess like on steroids, uh, welcome flow for a desktop. Um, let me zoom in a bit here. Uh, it's pretty intuitive, and don't worry about how it works. Uh, I, I know usually like demos do that. It's like, hey, this is what you do. You drag this and drag that. Um, and it's a pretty good time to talk about the agency offer. Uh, we will build all these flows for you and your clients. We understand taking on new tech is hard, and taking on a new concept is even harder. Um, and your clients, uh, you know, they they need guidance. Um, and we don't expect messenger every agency to have a messenger expert inside of them. Uh, it's funny, we actually, I, I, I got in communication with an agency that claimed that they were a messenger-focused uh, agency, but um, you know, they, they, I did a demo with them, and they were just amazed with like, some of the things we can do. So um, it really just shows you the education on messenger is, is so low. So a lot of our marketing efforts for end of this year and then next year are all going to be about you know, educating more of some of the cool things that you can do on messenger. But 
uh, we will build these flows out for you. Um, the fir it's completely free for them. They don't have to pull a credit card in or anything. Um, all we need is a download, connect your Facebook account, takes two minutes, and then it's free until they make $10,000. And then after that, it's commission-based thereafter. So we're very, very incentivized to make this work because otherwise we don't get paid anything. Uh, obviously, we also want, you know, we're very strong believers in the word of mouth effect. So we want you guys to uh, wear us on your chest proudly as you know, pretty much every agency in the world talks about Clavio and Gorgeous and all these other companies. Uh, um, we we, we want to get to that level. Um, this offer is uh, limited uh, in, in the sense that we'll probably only do it for at least another couple, maybe three quarters more max, um, because it is very unsustainable. Um, but you know, uh, in the meantime, don't worry about uh, any of these flows or, or things like that. We will run it by your clients, and we're happy to do any kind of management style you see. If your client wants to be on the call, if you don't want us to talk to them, uh, if you only want us to talk to them, we, we can figure it out. So uh, very lenient and flexible um, with with any of the, um, uh, the needs you have. Um, and just to kind of show you some some examples uh where yeah this this channel has been pretty active recently um this is one client from one agency uh just to kind of show you the work that we do um you can see it's very honed in even to like give me your discount codes give me sales screenshots uh i mean i can go back literally forever uh just to kind of show you like the level of work to expect an in-depth experience uh checking in, it, it, this isn't like, hey, we're gonna give you a full-fledged service and then we don't actually give you the service, that's just me trying to sell you guys. Uh, no, we, we, we will literally do um, agency level work for you guys. So think of us as a, an extension of, uh, uh, of the awesome agency you guys already are. So again, I, I can keep going back, this is still the same client. Uh, <laughs> uh, so this is something to expect. Um, this is an example of one of the flows that we can build um, welcome to your super. Use your discount code from our awesome wheel. Um, the reason why I like that example is because it's a great example of sales and branding, which is that uh, what I showed you guys a combination of the pajamas and the May woven example, where it was like quick sales, and the other one is more branding, talk about the story. This is a great example of both. Um, you get that discount code, and it's totally optional. Um, you know, you, you notice I don't, I don't have to press anything here when I get that message. Welcome your super, make sure you, you know, I, I can just press show my code, get that code, go back, boom, I'm done. But optionally, I have this video here and people can be pretty curious, so they definitely press it a lot. Um, that video, you'll find out that the, uh, he survived cancer at the age of 26. She has an autoimmune disease. Um, they clearly need to focus on their health based off of, you know, these experiences and, and, uh, and, and they, they survived and now they're healthy. Um, Partially, a lot of that had to do with their superfoods that they, and now they have a brand about it. And now they uh, just did 38 million um, in, in just a few years' time. So, a uh, really powerful story. Um, this is, again, optional, but if a picture's worth a thousand words, you know, how much is a two minute video um, worth? It's, it's a really cool way to tell a brand story, educate uh, possible consumers to come in. When you come to a website, you're at the mercy of, the website and whatever the graphic design has done or the branding, uh, you think of you think what you think of the website when you're on it. Um, but if I kind of funnel a video down your thought process and not the most forceful way, because again, I could just leave and shop um, and I press play and I learn a lot about the brand there. I mean, that's more powerful than any about us section out there. And it's way more powerful than a delivery system, uh, um, a code delivery system. Um, so if I wanted to continue and that flow, you'll see that I pressed my option already. That's why it doesn't appear anymore. But if I want some of the other options that appeared are, I want to learn more. I have a question, show me recipes, every single message you can see, I guess this one didn't really attribute to sales. I'll, I'll get to attribution, uh, in a moment. Um, but every single message is baked into, uh, the scent, open rates, click through rates and, and sales. Um, so this is definitely pretty cool. Just, you, you can see data around every single message, um, but you can see kind of how, how insane this, uh, flow is. You can literally learn, you can learn anything in, uh, uh, about this company here. So, um, the attribution, the way it works is three day attribution window. So if someone saw this flow, for example, I, I was here, uh, I, 
I show my code and then I went and I made a purchase, I actually, we recart attributes that it puts in a three day period. That is also how we get to that 10K threshold. And that's also how our pricing structure works. Although we are very uh, big just in raw downloads, this page is mostly geared towards um, the you know, a, a everyday stores that are just starting us uh, or starting up and they see that we're a top five app on the app store and they just download us. So that's what this is more geared towards. So don't really pay attention to this this much. Uh, pay attention to this part, you know, you can even X out that part, but this is like just like a, a slight sliver of the agency program, but really how it works is it's a sliding scale. So um, let's just, let, let, let's do an example. So we do a, a project, you have a client download, we impress them, it's been 10 days, we look back after the 10 days, they're like, okay, we've made $17,000 in the 10 days, you're past the 10K threshold, let's talk about pricing now. Of course, the client can just leave if they want to. There's no obligation here. Um, but we haven't had a bad experience yet, so we get 1%. Usually, that's that's how we do it. So $170. Um, and then we'll tack on uh, anywhere from like $80 to $130 for our monthly service fee. So it brings out to around like $270 to $300 um, a month for uh, you know our services and then also like educated um, uh, and, and, and concrete flows and, uh, and um, uh, holiday timed um, uh, releases as well. Sorry, I lost my, lost my train of thought there for a second. Um, I had a, had a very early call, so I uh, probably need some, some more coffee. But um, uh, yeah, so this is just um, kind of like a, a quick little overview. Um, I know I did this really fast. Usually I have, I have a lot uh, less time. Um, but I'd love to like open it up to some questions. Maybe I can dive a little deeper in other sections. Um, uh, yeah. Um, actually, I do. While everyone's thinking of a question, there's one thing I forgot to show you guys. Um, this real quick, and I, uh, and Michael and Brian and I showed you guys this. But we can turn any post into a comment to messenger campaign. So. Easiest way to conceptualize it is a giveaway. And this is our third best opt-in tool behind the welcome pop-up is first, uh, the ads are second, and then I think this is our third best one. Uh, we have about 20 total, but I only wanna show you guys the good ones uh, with the 20th being our QR code scanner. <laughs> um, but bundle uh, giveaway, uh, comment below in the description to enter. Um, all right, I'm gonna enter. Okay, step one, for one entry, give us your email, automatically populates, you tap that, give us your phone number, automatically populates, you tap that, that gets sent to uh, Clavio, SMS bump, attentive, drip, uh, with the full fields that I mentioned, and of course, that's also a messenger opt-in, and you've entered that into the conversation. On average, we see like 4,000 to 10,000 comments uh, on the post, depending on how how well we do it, but it's really good, uh, the post. It's it's way easier than, you know, the gleam things and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, please uh, please ask away. Uh, no real question, but a comment, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. Recart, you know, it made over $200 in like 24 hours. So fair, off to a very good start, I'd say. You know, oh, nice. <laughs> at that point. Nice. Nice, yeah, yeah. Um, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, just to, 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 just to start, Brian. Uh, this is another good point here. Um, the ads that we provide, you know, all of them are visitor to retargeting. Um, if you kind of add recard to it, it's the same price per click, right? But we can kind of unlock this whole funnel. You can get a messenger sub. You can get that email or SMS sub from that from that ad click. And you can do the, the messenger follow-up. So Facebook allows you the moment you comment to send 22, 24-hour, 90% um, open rate messages. So here's an ad, get offer, messenger conversation, unlock discount, same thing that I showed you guys earlier, except with phone numbers. If there's no add to cart in three hours, then we'll send them this message. So yes, the messenger sub does allow you to send sponsored messages in the future, but it also allows you to send, in a 24-hour period, abandoned cart reminders. And that's actually where we started, hence the name, Recart. But that's kind of like, you know, that that's a little bit, uh, um, 
you know, it, it's not the main feature anymore. Brands that really only utilize this are brands that are a little bit more like sales nabbing. So you'll notice your super didn't do that. Pajamas didn't do that. Maywoven Woven didn't do that. Um, Blendja doesn't care. They want to sell as many $30 blenders as they can. <laughs> so they're going to follow, they're going to annoy me with 90% open uh, rate uh, messages. Um, if that makes, if that makes sense. Nick, uh, I have a question on the, like the, the price per message. Is it like, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I've just never been exposed to it. You, you pay this to Facebook, you pay this to Recart. Is it just for like the, the blast or is it for like every message that you pay? Yeah, so it's entirely free. So Recart, you have that monthly service, uh, and that, that's the price. Um, any messaging you do besides a sponsored message is completely free. Of course, you know, you're, you're paying for the, pro the product, the platform, but um, actually transacting those messages doesn't cost you anything unless it is a sponsored, uh, sponsored message, um, which are the one-off promotions uh, that you can coordinate at time at any time. Uh, no, 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 you pay this to, uh, you pay this to Facebook. Oh wow! Okay, I never heard of this. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we don't get uh, we don't get that. <laughs> um, <laughs> wish we did. Uh, I, I guess. Well, I, even if we did, I wouldn't be saying it. But, uh, or I don't know. Now, now we're getting too deep. We're going down a rabbit hole. <laughs> um, yeah. Does anyone have more questions, thoughts? Um, you know, it, it concerns things I can elaborate on. Um, uh, yeah. Or is everyone just like, hey, let's give me, give me my gift card. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, if you guys have clients, though, um, the, the next step that you have in mind, uh, and, and, and Brian can tell you guys more about this, but um, you basically just have them download it and then uh, in, in, in introduce us. Uh, in a 30-minute call, we'll figure out what we want to do exactly down to, like, the discount code and whatever. Um, we'll implement it within 48 hours and we'll press the go button again, completely free. Um, they can wait, but it's a very quick process. The only real, I guess, like cost is like that 30 minute, uh, strategy call. And guys, um, if you didn't see in the chat, I put in a templated email for you guys to introduce recard to your clients. So if you have clients in mind, don't delay, you know, you're thinking like, oh, maybe I'll, I'll circle back with it tomorrow. Next time we talk. Um, especially with the holiday season coming up, you know, you have a meeting with them in two weeks that might already be too late. So again, if you have any clients that might consider this, send that uh, email right now while it's still fresh in your head. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. If we get started, um, you know, I mean, I mean it's, it's, it's Friday, but uh, next Friday latest for a week from now, I think that would be like a pretty good cutoff um, because by that time we'll have, a little less than a month, but it'll be enough time to get an ample amount of subs to execute on Black Friday. That'll make uh, you guys have a lot more sales. That's obviously a very hot day. Um, and it'll look good for your clients, look good for you guys. Um, and then also in terms of the reselling, and, and this is my, Michael, this is something else we can talk about, but because uh, I, know, I know we're discussing that a little bit, but um, think of Recart as adding like a general value to your clients. So yeah, you guys are gonna get the 20% kickback, but um, a lot of what we're seeing right now is, and the motivation from agencies is like, we are doing the service literally uh, uh, front to back. Um, and agencies are saying, hey, like I introduced you to Recart this quarter, I did this, I, you know, based off of this, let's do this contract renew one, up it, whatever. Um, I don't know. Uh, but that's, that's what we're seeing, like a lot of, eventually we're gonna figure out like a good way to um, like splice up these like services so you guys can like properly resell them. Um, but right now that's, uh, that's mostly it until of course, um, we, uh, we make, uh, some, some good messenger, uh, marketing experts over at smart sites, which, uh, I'm, uh, I'm very excited for. So. Hey Brian, for, for the $200 you said you, you made Akshura, is it like those, those people is like already Facebook likes or is it, like what are the opt-ins that you just got by like putting up that pop-up or, or where do those people come from? Yeah, good question. Um, yeah, so we set it up yesterday. Um, well, we set up actually earlier this week, but it just went live yesterday. Since Recart, you can't upload a CSV of emails. They have to opt-in. So we had, I think it's like 20-something opt-ins and we got $200 in sales. So not too bad in terms of like conversion rate. Um, what, what, what was like the non-Recart sales? 
non-read card sales. Like, you know, like 2,000 it became 2,200, or 200 became 400. You know, what's the... Uh, let's see. Let me check yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I believe it 800 became 1,000, I believe. Wow. So not too bad. Um, definitely, yeah. Yeah, once we have the 200 subs, we could start launching, like, the other automation flows, too. So it should mm -hmm. be boosting up AOV. Um, we're doing some other back-end stuff to like upsell on like bundle products. So that's really what's working right now. But it's an 800 became a thousand. That's already amazing. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. And that's just one feature, right? So we're going to keep, you know, like adding things on here and there. And then that obviously you haven't even seen the sponsored messages yet. So uh, yeah, I'm going to add Adam next week about that. Uh, I have a call with the client on Monday. We're going to figure out the giveaway situation and then I'll send you an email. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then uh, on the, on the ad side of things, cause we can kind of completely transform any Instagram ad, yeah. Facebook yeah. ad. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like completely open. Of course these are like one off things. So, uh, but please like, we, we need more uh, creative agencies. So if you guys have like ideas, things that you want to do for your clients, you know, maybe your clients are asking for things, please throw it at us. We'll make it happen. We like to make good use cases out of them too, like the pajamas example. Yeah, I mean, um, you'll hear from me next week. Uh, I got another client awesome. in like the e-com space. They sell shoes, pretty expensive, but she's pretty well funded. So I'll send you an email next week about that as well. Uh, get that set up. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, this is kind of like, I guess like a closing uh, side from me, um, if anybody doesn't have any more questions, but um, these are like just the end results. Um, on average, we're seeing an eight to 14% total revenue increase. Um, yes, we will, you know, the, the sponsored, uh, the click to messenger ads are very fantastic. Uh, you know, that conversational marketing aspect that I was saying earlier. Um, and then you also communicate more with your customers. But at the end of the day, like money wise, we're just honing in on money. Um, then the sponsored messages are, are just are just nuts. Um, but of course, all these are good on paper too as well. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's a really cool platform. Um, I, I have like I have another cool stat just to talk about conversational marketing really quick. We had a twenty step quiz. It, it was an Instagram ad that turned into a twenty step quiz. Um, if one hundred percent of people started question one, by the time you're question four. There's a 25% drop off, um, but by the time you're at question 20 from four, there's a 2% drop off, which I thought pretty fascinating. That people like answering these long quizzes. I mean, 20 questions, and the prize was like, you are this type of beardsman. You know, like check out our site. I mean, it's not even a prize. That's just like go shop. Um, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Like people like people like interacting with these bots and. Um, and in the future, we're going to be able to bucket those into Clavio too. Like their answers, we're working on that. Um, so you could like get some pretty honed insights and results for uh, for clients that are like quiz based or have you know need that. So um, yeah, but yeah. If if no one has no one has more questions, I will shoot you guys an email with uh, some of the decks I use, some case studies. Uh, I will also include the twenty five dollar Grubhub gift card is that cool? I mean, uh, I I know you guys like Uber Eats. Uh, I I don't know what. what we're Grubhub, talking about. Grubhub. Uh, I, I referenced Uber Eats just because that's what uh, uh Gord did, but uh, yeah, oh, okay. in this cool. area um, or wherever else people may live. Grubhub. Grubhub's cool. All right, cool. Um, so I'll send you guys that. Uh, that might arrive in a separate email. Um, I, it, like did one time. Did the other. anyways. Um. So I'll get that. And then again, if you guys need me, I'm always here. Um, and yeah, I really look forward to working with you guys uh, more. Um, pretty pretty excited, exciting stuff. Thanks, and, Nick. Uh, Good job. Thank well you. done. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, sir, for attending. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Everyone for attending. Thank Thanks, you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Nick. Good job. Bye. Thanks, Nick. Yes. Of course, take care. Enjoy your weekends. Everybody. You too. Bye. See ya. Later.